Hey there. Well, welcome to uh, The Chronicles with Jim Dingus. Today what I'm doing is, is I'm going through some of my persimmon seeds. No, they're, uh, they're not uh, uh, pawpaw seeds, but seeds nonetheless that you, you got to care for them. What I just did was uh, wipe that counter down with a disinfectant because I had some seeds that were in this bag, Rosa Shanka, that uh, were starting to mildew. Looking for black marker. Huh. Sorry about that. Give the counter a little bit of time to dry a little bit anyways. But anyways, what I was saying was, I was going through some of my seeds, and I figured, you know what, let's take care of these seeds, make sure they're doing okay. And what I found was, is I had a bag of Rosa Shankas that I had bagged up, and I lost some of those seeds to mildew, and I was able to save probably about, I'd say probably about, 85% of them and now what I'm going to do is I'm getting back into a paper towel scenario turn that around get them in line so I can continue on cleaning seeds making sure my seeds are good it won't be long that I'll be pulling these out for uh, germination uh, they've been going through stratification and uh, we're coming up on that time of year where everything gets to moving. We're going to find out exactly how many I have left out of, uh, there was 36. We'll find out what I got left out of this mishap. Uh, even though these seeds came from uh, Rosa Shanka, they're not going to be a true Rosa Shanka. I'm not feeling good about that seed. The skin on that seed was broke, and uh, that there is what would offer up mildew. Continuing on with this. I started doing these uh, persimmons in this manner because of uh, it's easier for me, in my mind, to keep track. The uh, peat moss worked good form but I found that I had seeds that uh, I lost in the peat moss and then when I went to plant and everything I had seeds coming up that I didn't want the seed coming up. So you got four in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight. So I lost eight. But that's just that's not too awful hateful I don't guess. clean paper towel here try to keep everything as clean as possible and it's a part of the process you just got to stay on top of keeping them seeds clean uh, seeds has got mildew a lot of times with uh, the skin has been eaten away by the mildew and I, I feel bad that uh, that happened with those but you know what it's part of the process and make sure everything stays intact and just to show you because I had a mildew issue in that particular bag or mold mildew I'm gonna get another bag I'm not going to use that bag because that bag right now has been contaminated. So, we'll see. 
Yanka. And there's 28. And stratification started on 11, 19. So that'd be probably towards the end of July, or uh, sorry, January, before I'm ready to do anything with these. But bag here. And there's one done. This bag, goodbye. And got another bag here. These are seeds that I saved from uh, a couple of pulp, uh, a couple of the persimmons that were non-stringent. But they're going to be stringent because they've been hybridized with uh, other persimmons in the area. So they're going to have some stringency. Although they'll have some good size to them anyways as far as uh, persimmons. They'll still be a good size persimmon and that's what I'm after. And these right here are intended for my own personal garden area. If I can get them to germinate. And there's only four of them there. But let's dump this out. Rinse it out. These four seeds came from one that was called a China Bully. And the seeds themselves are in good shape. So that's a different mold. So let's go ahead and do a little quick wash on them regardless. mold on them right there weren't bad at all and turn the water off and now I'm going to take a look at these ones here I can see a little bit of mold on them or on the paper towel itself and you'll get that when it comes to the fruit seeds a little bit of the pulp that's stuck on to the seed that maybe you never got it all off but you know what? Those are looking pretty clean. And this time, I'm going to set these up separately because they're two separate ones. That's not too bad. That's just a tiny bit. So, let's get this taken care of and get them wrapped back up. just like a little surface uh, mold that we were dealing with and these ones right here I'm gonna go ahead and reuse that bag because it wasn't as bad as that other one. That other one was absolutely terrible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the four back in here. A new paper towel and a little squirt more or less dampening the paper towel than anything. Makes it easier to work with anyways. And if you notice, I'm trying to keep the seeds separated from one another, not touching. And You know what? I'm gonna do a new bag for that one also. Set this to the side. And uh, these are 1027, which mm, probably about the middle of January they'll be ready. I don't know, I have to add that up. We have non-stringent. If 
five of them. China Bully. Four of them. And just to be on the safe side, I went with a separate bag also with that. Put this back in the bag. And set the bag to the side. Get another piece of paper towel. Get these right here on there. Five of them. Uh, yes, I marked the bag non stringent, but the, the fruit came with a non stringent fruit. But these are going to be stringent because they've been cross pollinated by other persimmons in the area that just something I'm not going to be able to get around. Besides that, I, I, the non-stringent ones are good too. And let's get this folded over this way. Get a little bit of moisture on this side. Okay. And there it is. Anyways. Uh, just something that I wanted to share with you. If you're going to uh, work with your seeds, you got to stay on top and make sure you're not having any issues with mildew and mold and stuff like that. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done it with paper towels on the uh, persimmons, but it's something that uh, that needs to be taken care of. You got to stay on top of taking care of. It. Now, this one right here is a bag of persimmons uh, seeds that came from Arkansas on the 13th of October and these are intended as rootstock only that I'll be uh, germinating take a look at them those are in good shape I just really couldn't see them uh, because of uh, the thickness of the paper towel so we're gonna leave them just like they are and put them right back into the bag I'm not seeing issues with those and I've got a number of bags in there I've already checked and these were the last three that for me to check on and for the most part they were all in pretty good shape out of a hundred out of 314 seeds uh, that I had uh, in in the uh, refrigerator for uh, stratification I lost a total of eight seeds that's not bad but anyway, it's just something I wanted to share with you that you got to do if you're going to be growing trees from seeds. You're going to want to make sure that you don't have mold and mildew issues because that, that actually uh, is a bad thing to have. But we we'll put these in the fridge and go downstairs and check on my pawpaw seeds. I have uh, seeds of different trees and I just wanted to share with you that this is something that we need to do. Take care of our, our seeds. Uh, just prior to uh, uh, germination. I've got a handful of these uh, probably about the first week of uh, January. They should be just about ready uh, to send through the stratification period, especially this, uh, uh, this one that I have here, uh, the 13th. The 13th... Uh, that's 60 days plus the 23 days is 70 days. Uh, when you go to the 23rd, uh, when I hit to the 3rd of January, I'm looking at 80 days. And these need to be uh, gone through stratification somewhere between 80 to 100 days. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.